So hey guys, up? my name is Seaspace, and welcome to the very first episode of Back to School Sniping. So today I'm going to be talking about a technique that I used in the very beginning of Battlefield 4, and that technique is, of course, playing slow. You veterans out there that have seen the first season of Back to School Sniping back in Battlefield 3 will know this lesson, and overall, it should be a refresher course for you guys. But for you new players and for new subscribers of mine, this is a very important step that you need to at least try once. Uh, I find playing it slow allows you to understand what you're doing wrong without me having to say exactly what you're doing wrong when you're starting out. Uh, a lot of commentators don't really focus on this topic that much, mainly because they find it a little boring, and overall they don't feel like their, their, um, their fan base would appreciate them talking about such topic. But me, on the other hand, I could care less what you guys think, and I'm just going to teach you what I did. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyhow, so going on to the the whole lesson. Playing it slow will make things extremely, actually not extremely, it would make it painfully obvious on what you're doing wrong. So I'm assuming most of you guys are very assertive or aggressive and you, you like to be the person that plants the bomb or defuses the bomb or caps flags or prevent people from capping flags or you know uh, uh, grabbing the flag and capture the flag, you know stuff like that. You, you want to be the person that does the job. I understand that. But the way you approach this so-called job might not be the best way of approaching it whilst playing uh, the recon class. Uh, so when it comes down to playing slow, there's, there's, there's certain things that you need to keep in mind. Or actually, I should say two things. One, decision making, and two, starting your aiming or learning how to aim properly. So for one, decision making. When you're playing slow, decision making becomes a little more present. Uh, you, you, you have a lot more time to think before you actually do. And I guess before I even go on with this lesson, let me quickly describe the homework for those of you who want to do it, that is. So for your homework, what I want you to do is I want you to play two separate games. The first game, I want you to play as aggressively as possible. I want you to push your limits to the point where you really just don't know what you're doing anymore. I want you to get motivated by montages. Do quick scopes, drag scopes, whatever the stuff. You know, be aggressive. Make yourself feel awesome when you do these, you know, these activities. And then... In the second game, I want you to play it slow. Now you might be asking, so T-Space, how am I going to play it slow? I don't understand. Well, for PC users, it's going to be extremely easy. But for you console players, it might be a little more difficult. So what I want you to do for the second game is to unbind or prevent yourself from using the sprint key. Yes, I said that. You cannot use your sprint key. On top of that, when you are aiming, I want you to aim precisely. I don't want I don't want any speed with... Uh, with, with uh, shooting I guess you could say. Just take your time, make sure that every single shot you take is either a hit or a kill. Um, if you're missing a lot, that means you need to slow down even more. It, it, it might feel very awkward to aim like this, but more or less I find if you gradually build up, I guess your muscle memory, you will retain this newfound skill for a lot longer. Now going back to the whole how this actually helps you and makes things painfully obvious, like I said before, I'm assuming a lot of you guys are very aggressive at, at, at Battlefield and you want to be that assertive or aggressive player. So when you either jump on a flag or you defuse an MCOM or arm an MCOM or whatever, there comes a point when you get too attached to the sprint key by just running into the point without really checking everything. So let's say for an example you want to plant the bomb on Zavad, the first, you know, the first MCOM. There are a lot of corners in that, that first room. Not the, not the MCOM outside, the one inside. So when it comes down to it, a lot of people will more or less just run in, or I guess they would check two different corners and then run in, but there might be a guy in an awkward position, like maybe he's behind a lamp that you didn't notice. And if you were actually playing it a little slower, you might have, it might have been even like super, super obvious that you'd be like, wow, how did I miss this dude? So when it comes down to playing slow, these, these, these little mistakes that you've done in the past because of sprints will become painfully obvious to you. And you'd be like, man, I can't believe I missed this guy. How, how in the world did I miss this guy? And this is what I did. I felt that um, when I wanted to learn a new class or l learn a new game, I always took it slow. I didn't want to rush myself into it. And on top of that, this, this is kind of like a relapse kind of lesson where uh, there, there are certain points and times in my gameplay where I become too aggressive. And it's, it's very noticeable to me. And when I notice that, I kind of just revert back to playing slow. 
Uh, so let's say for an example, I'm playing a Conquest game on, well, let's just keep it consistent, Zavad. And overall, I start playing too aggressively. And when I notice this, I dial my myself back. I, I try to force myself to play a lot slower until I can get used to playing faster again. So it's kind of like shifting gears in a way. Uh, when you're, I guess, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I, I can't think of an analogy right now, but anyhow, you're just shifting gears to a lower to a lower level, and then easing yourself back into the game so you don't get frustrated all the time. I feel that a lot of people, when they get in that groove of aggressiveness and they start playing bad, they just, they feel like they need to be more aggressive. I don't know what it is, but they just feel like they need to do it. They're like, oh, I'm doing bad, so that means I need to, I need to play faster. And overall, when they play faster, they play bad, and they get they get killed a lot more, they miss their shots, they get a little more aggravated, and overall they might even rage quit the game. So that pretty much wraps up today's episode of Back to School Sniping. I know I said in the pilots that these videos would be a little longer than uh, they were in the past, but given today's going to be the first episode, I wanted to keep it short and concise. So hopefully you guys understood everything I said in this commentary. If not, go ahead and leave a comment down below stating what you were kind of confused on, or if you just want to leave a comment, by all means be my guest. Like always, if you do want to record yourself to motivate other people to try out this lesson, uh, by all means do it. Send me a YouTube link, and I will put your link in the description below. But like always, my name is T-Space, and I will catch you guys later. Next week, we're going to be talking about accuracy.